Today, we're going to be talking about all the magic that is fleet management and a fleet management tool, which was added in one of the previous expansions. I believe it was 2.0. So, as of 2.0, uh, fleets are very much curtailed. They're very much a lot smaller than they used to be. And we're going to take a look at them today and take a look at them. So we got a, uh, a fleet right here. It's fairly standard. It's got a bunch of ships on it, a bunch of drop ships and all that stuff. And uh, it's got all this cool stuff here as well. It's home bases or whatnot. And the overall power what we get, how much, um, how many hull points we got, etc. Now we could obviously just go to a station here and just add something to a shipyard, at least if we had a shipyard here. However, there is a better way of doing this. And that is by going to the fleet manager, the latest and greatest in ship management tools. Such a delight. So fleet management tool has a few buttons that may be a little bit confusing. It is also has a button specifically this one which is probably the most dangerous button in the game which does not have um well it, it, it didn't i don't think it had a prompt before but still um yeah don't this this button has no reason to be here let's put it that way um it, it's it, it destroys our entire fleet let's put it that way anyway let's take a look at what we got so we got our fleets right here we got our create new button an overview of what we have in our fleet as well as what we have in our second fleet our admiral the stance uh what the home location is for this fleet which is set up right here and what we're missing from our fleet in terms of uh ships that are currently missing which which we can uh, update through either this button which reinforces just the fleet that we have or all the fleets that we have where uh, we can use this button now overall uh, this is fairly straightforward but there's a couple things that may not be so let's take a look for instance here at the fleet interface now the fleet interface has all the information that we need uh, we got the command limit as in how many ships fit in a fleet for corvettes i believe it is one for destroyers it is two for cruisers it is four for battleships it is eight and for titans it is the wonderful amount of uh i want to say 16. <clears throat> Actually, uh, it's not. But yeah, you get the general idea. Yeah, it's uh, it's 18 for battleships. So for instance, let's say that I want to remove two battleships from the fleet here to make uh, room for a Titan. So we can easily just add a button and basically say, hey, I want this Titan class ship added to the fleet. It's a ship size 16. That means it takes 16 points from your naval capacity. And we can just add that and then say re force we can also take a look at the ship design by clicking this button and basically get all the general overview my god this thing is overpowered it's got a hilarious amount of prediction beams and for some reason large cause gauze guns and not neutron torpedoes what a delight so let's say that your fleet uh, let's say this guy this auxilia class corvette you want to retool it to something else it's quite easy actually um what we can do we can go to the retrofit button we can uh, go and uh basically click on the ship that is available so we got our auxilia class salad we currently don't have a, another ship available so we kind of need to be a little bit creative here so let's quickly design a new ship so let's go and get a new design corvettes uh, small guns just a couple of random garbage let's put that in here and uh, let's call this one replacement there we go so that is now in here. So we go back towards the fleet manager. We go to retrofit. We click on replacement class. And presto, all the previous ships are now being uh, replaced with our replacement class Corvette. And all we got to do now is hit the upgrade button and the entire fleet uh, of standard auxilia class ships, which I believe are still here. Yes, will be automatically updated to the replacement class corvette of course what we can also do is is say hey i don't want these corvettes anymore at all and um uh, yeah i, I kind of want to get rid of them we click this button congratulations we've just destroyed all of the ships of this type although right now it says disband zero ships which is a little bit weird um i know that um the game is a little bit buggy here and there when it comes to uh, the fleet designer and all that stuff. So that is a little bit unfortunate. But still, uh, being able to quickly refit and readdress new ships is actually kind of nice. And specifically for Titans, let's say that we want to add a, another Titan class. 
And uh, we go to our Titan. Right now, this one has a shield damper on. Let's say we want to have a quantum stabilizer. That's a Romulus or something along those lines. So let's say that we need to fight a, a, an enemy fleet that has uh, a, little, a little bit of a different streak on it. So right now, uh, we can just say, hey, uh, this thing right now uses the... I quickly need to look at where it actually is. Uh, it's actually not on the list. That is a little, oh wait, it, it is, but it's actually so far away that we actually can't see it. That's a little bit unfortunate. But let's say that we want to replace this with a Re Romulus class, it is easily done. And we can, for instance, also add another Remus class, for instance. You always want to have just one type of Titan in uh, in each fleet. You can, of course, have multiple Titans, but their bonuses don't stack, so you're going to be really careful about that. In addition, there is this little button right here. I highly recommend never clicking this button. I will show you what it does. Um, do you wish to disband this fleet? Disbanding a fleet would also disband any ships associated with this fleet. And that removes all the ships. So, yeah, that is not something that you really want to press. Um, which is why I'm a big advocate of adding mothballing to the fleet. Never click that button unless you accidentally want to lose all your ships. So let's quickly uh, roll this bad boy back to um, where we still had set fleet. Uh, then again, I could also have just gone to the secondary fleet, but uh, we're reloading right now already, so we may as well just continue our path. And let's start uh, thinking about creating a new fleet. How would we proceed with that? Okay, here we go. For some reason, it's being a little bit slow today. Normally, it's been done by now. Maybe the save file is a bit complicated because it was started on 2.1 or something along those lines. Come on. You know you want to. It's only a little bit more. Uh, oh, and of course, it goes back. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's go and uh, let's lower all of this stuff over here. It's not important. And there we go. So we got our little fleet over here. Actually, let's go to the bigger one of the two. So this is the fleet we just disbanded. It's not really important. It's back right now. So let's go into our fleet manager and do something else here. So we got our two fleets and we got our two admirals and they are fairly good, except for this one who's stubborn and has a reduced leader experience gain, which is a little bit annoying. But let's say that we want to create a new fleet. So we created the create new fleet button and we know that we have a command limit of 120. Right now we are, well, we're about, eh, I want to say, a uh, hundred, yeah, yeah, about 160 from our fleet limit. So let's say that we want to build a new fleet. So we'll just add a bunch of new ships. So every single one of each. And now we can start adding the numbers that we want and basically also the combination of ships that we want in each fleet. So let's say that we have a bunch of cruisers. Uh, actually, we don't want cruisers because at this stage in the game, we never use them. If you are at zero, you hit minus one, it automatically... Uh, goes away uh let's add a destroyer here this is status uh has uh, a bunch of flak on it so that's good this auxilia is basically a torpedo boat so that's nice so let's reinforce this fleet with this button spent the ten thousand uh minerals and we can add a new leader to this as well at least as soon as the ship rolls off the production line because that is kind of important uh right now it, everything is zero 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 we got a plus one right now there are all our ships being built right now as a general indicator which is really nice and now that there, now that we have at least one ship here it means we can start add, adding a general so or at least an admiral which is good we can also set a home base so wherever we want to have this uh, fleet based of would be nice personally i would have liked it better if we just automatically uh, went to the map screen and basically said yo this is our home base and automatically selected or something along those lines so right now we kind of need to take a look at what is a strategic location let's say uh solaris cadia maybe or sirius yeah, we can, uh, we can set this towards Sirius. So what does this do? So any fleet that gets into combat and has to disengage will basically go back towards that station and not the first station available, which is a little bit annoying. Also, when it comes to our fleet stuff, uh, let's say that we want to uh, move all of our ships back after a successful war, because everybody knows that all wars are always successful. We can just hit the return button, and then the fleet will automatically return back to its base. 
which is uh, kind of nice. Uh, if a fleet is stuck behind enemy lines, let's say it's over here and it can't get back through all this territory, hitting the return button basically means it will go missing for a little bit and then pop up at the station that you set as a home base. So that is actually quite nice. Uh, one thing that you need to watch out for with the fleet manager, and I will illustrate with what I mean here. Let's, uh, let's just cancel all this stuff. Let's say that we got all of these little these little corvettes sorted out here and they're all coming off the factory line so they should be coming off okay so let's just move you guys away because that dude is uh, around the orbit yeah there we go so we got another fleet over here which automatically pops up so we've manually built some ships what does this mean it means that these uh, this these ships will pop up as a fleet in your fleet designer there is, um, or at least the fleet manager. It's a little bit annoying because you can't multiple select fleets and then merge them. What you still need to do is you need to double select a fleet, then hit the merge button, also known as the hotkey of G, and uh, basically merge them together. So that's one thing that is uh, not in the fleet manager and that's not handled very well. Also right now what will happen is a bunch of ships will show up uh, on your fleet and it will add to your command limit and it may cause some weird numbers to pop up so that's something you need to be slightly aware of and uh, because we just built some more ships uh, another fleet has just popped up which is something that i'm not particularly keen on uh which is a bit of a shame because like i said there is no merger tools here uh kind of annoying now you can get rid of them by just dismantling in the classic way but it's a bit of an expensive little ordeal which is kind of annoying so if you're starting to um, if you're starting to build ships on shipyards from all over the place and just stop them in the middle of space and they're not really attached to a fleet this particular part of the screen will be entirely filled with different fleets uh, I've had instances of about 40 of them and I had to manually delete a bunch of them in order to get rid of all these um, well of all these fleets here so please be aware of that if you are going to use the fleet manager to build your fleets only use the fleet manager to build your fleets do not do it at the shipyards themselves war declared. oh boy we got war declared well that's fun well it's not on us so that's fine but yeah the fleet manager itself is a very powerful tool in order to um organize your fleets sadly you cannot set uh fleets to follow other fleets in this particular menu which is a little bit annoying it's something that i would like to see you can set the take point the take point modifier here the, how much health they have what their location is etc overall it's 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 a good start for form paradox when it comes to managing fleets and stuff like that and i'm sure that they're going to be iterating on this stuff in the future as well uh, in the meantime though we're going to go and wrap up this uh, episode about the fleet manager right here if you've learned anything today put it down in the comments if not hey uh, put it down in the comments as well and in either scenario just hit that like button and then we can move on from there anyway we're gonna wrap it up here thank you so much for watching and until next time take good care of yourselves and manage your fleets